Alexa, what is a black and blue burger? Black and blue burgers is a dish commonly prepared with salt, dried thyme, tomatoes, onion powder, blue cheese, Kaiser rolls, romaine lettuce. Three hours later. And I regret this. It has 371 calories per serving and is celery free, crustacean free, fish free. Uh, free. Uh, Alexa, 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 stop. Stop. I can't believe she started listing off things that aren't in the burger. It's crustacean free, fish free, ice cream free, candy free, Sour Patch Kids free. Like Jesus Christ, what? Hey guys, welcome back. Um, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. Um, I'm here with Jared. He's over in the kitchen. And we are starting a new foodie series since Corona virus is still going on and we're still all in quarantine um we decided to just start ordering food off of like uber eats and trying new restaurants and then letting you guys know how we like them so today we are ordering from burger culture i got a um black and blue burger turkey burger and then he got a street burger i think so i haven't even looked at it yet so i'm gonna show you guys what it looks like right now Ooh. there's avocado and pineapple on it where's the pineapple i don't like pineapple i think that's weird i got sweet potato fries turkey burger look how good this is mm. whoa wait don't eat yet it's about to go down i gotta put the hair up what? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh man, that's good. All right, now I'm gonna try the burger. It's a pretty fucking weird burger. Most of the burgers on the menu are pretty fucking weird. Okay, tell us what's on it. Uh, there are potato um, sticks. Uh, I added avocado. They have their special sauce, which looks like Thousand Island sauce, lettuce. Um, beef patty, cheddar cheese, and uh, pineapple. Which we're gonna see how this tastes. What do you think? It's really good. The onion rings are really good, and I'm not a huge onion ring person but i kind of okay those are really good i kind of wish i ordered those but oh I'll, I'll still eat these because i really like them but i definitely like those Ooh. that looks good a pickle is that a pickle it looks like it well, I don't know why I put lipstick on for this. I thought it was weird that you put lipstick on, but I didn't say anything. Oh, my makeup's really pale today. I'm like, I look really pale, so I was like, let me put some makeup. Uh, you're putting makeup on to eat a messy burger? When you're in quarantine, you're gonna like, any excuse to put makeup on. Oh my God. How is it? Is it good? Yeah, it was really good. <coughs> the corona. <laughs> corona virus. I've always like ordered the blue cheese, um, black and blue, because I really like um, blue cheese. I know it's weird, but I've never had it with barbecue sauce. And when I saw that, I was like, eh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna like that, but. It's actually pretty good. And now I don't think that I can go back to having um, a black and blue bit burger with the blue cheese without the barbecue. The onion rings are good, and they're the way I like them. How do you like them? I like them with the breading. I don't like pancake batter onion rings. I think rings. I'm gonna, this is a halfway mark. I'm gonna stop there, save the rest for later. Not only does it look really delicious, but it tastes the way it looks. Like, have you ever ordered something that looks really good and then you ate it and you're like, that 
didn't taste as good as it looked. No, I can't relate. What? Really? I will literally eat anything. The only thing that I don't like is frog legs. I've had it on two occasions. We need a and board. it's not because they taste bad. Frog legs taste almost exactly like chicken. The texture of it is disgusting. That's next. We're gonna find some frog legs. Oh, gator tail! I've never had gator tail. Gator tail is really good. I, I like gator tail a lot. Frog legs is a slimy texture. Um, I guess now I'm just gonna pick at the french fries because some of the blue cheese. Oh my god, it's so good! This tastes really good. Okay, so the feta with the barbecue that dripped on to this, really good with the fries. Ah, uh, everything's really good, but I know that I'm gonna want to eat that burger later. And I hate when I eat the main dish and then all I leave is the french fries. I'm not a big sides person unless it's like- you Gotta have sides. I gotta have sides. I, feel I like, hate I feel like that's why I, sides. I feel like that's why I gained weight is because I was just like really lazy when I cooked, so I would make one thing. And then like when I moved in with you, you were just like, gotta have sides, french fries, every night, tots. All right, what's your rating out of 10? Out of 10? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I give it a 10 out of 10. Yes! 10 out of 10. Uh, this place had a lot of weird shit on their menu. Yeah, we're, I think we might order again, maybe. Uh, they had a goober burger that was peanut butter and egg with burger patty. Oh, tell them about the gr grilled cheese one. They had a grilled cheese burger that had grilled cheese as buns. So it was a grilled cheese, a burger, and then another grilled cheese. Let us know, comment down below if you would totally order that. I think I, you said there was one with like mac and cheese. Yeah, there was one with mac and cheese. I didn't get that because we recently did order King of the Coop, which was also a really awesome restaurant. We'll do a review of them too. But uh, King of the Coop had a macaroni and cheese chicken sandwich and I didn't feel like eating another macaroni and cheese based sandwich again. Um, there was one with ramen. Oh yeah, there's a ramen burger. I almost got that, but I wanted to try. I figured the best burger to um, review would be like their standard, you know, the street burger, which I think is their, appeared to be their main burger on the menu, like the most popular burger, so. Um, also suggested by Sammy. But these are, oh, I'm gonna eat them all. I can't, like, just let them uh. in here. Gross, why are you slobbering on me? Ew, stop slobbering on me. The food's so good that it's making my dog drool. I'm gonna wait a little, then I'll eat that, because I'm, I'm full right now. But, we both say 10 out of 10, so if you're local in Tampa, go ahead and check this place out. Um, really good, very interesting menu. Um, I think next time I'll probably try the ramen burger because that sounds weird. I used to try to get the weird shit on the menu. Yeah, pi bleh, pineapples. <laughs> yeah, it, pineapples have such a bad rep. I'll be one of those people that admit I like pineapple on pizza and she won't ever let me order it. Warm pineapple is disgusting. Warm pineapple is awesome. On meat, it tastes good on meat. It complements the sweet and the salty. No! People talk so much shit about it. I'm no, 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 no. Okay, maybe pineapple in like my pina colada. That's acceptable. Look, the pineapple on the burger, I didn't know how I was gonna feel about it, but it actually tasted pretty good. You could barely taste the pineapple. Yeah, mm. people like to talk shit about that, but they'll order orange chicken, which is citrus sauce. No, it's different. It's, it's not. It's sweet. Like pineapple. <laughs> no, that's different. No, okay, don't Fuck even. Fuck out of here. I guess we're like gonna make up teams now. You're team pineapple and I'm team like 
don't even know what. I only is. like pine. I don't like pineapple by itself. I only like pineapple in cooking. I might eat pineapple by itself, but it can never ever be warm. You want a cold pineapple in my fucking burger? Absolutely not. I want <laughs> no, a fucking hot I would pineapple. never put pineapple Grilled on Grilled pineapple is No, good. I would take that pineapple and put it in my drink. Pineapple with like rum. I'm going to go make myself a drink now. <laughs> well, Jules from Pulp Fiction like pineapple on his burgers. Honolulu burger. So... Is that why you ordered it? Pardon me, yeah, but... Oh my god, okay. If you guys don't know, this is my fiance, Jared. Um, we're getting married in February. Fingers crossed, knock on wood. Everything goes by fine, because as you know, coronavirus. And we're getting married on a cruise ship. So, hopefully we can still make that happen. But um, we met in college. I went for photography, he went for filmmaking, so... You're, you're definitely gonna hear some like film little things here and there coming from this guy. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video if you thought it was funny. Um, we're gonna share it on our own Facebooks. And yeah, thanks for, I don't know why I'm holding that. Thanks for watching and supporting us. We love you, bye. Say bye. Say bye with your fat face. Bye. <laughs> Come on.